everyone, this is Marie Selatad and welcome back to my channel. So for today, as I promise, kung napadood niyo ang last video ko, sinabi ko doon na for my next vlog, I will be featuring or I will be sharing my knowledge all about accounting. So this is it guys. Ito na yun guys. Magsisimula na tayo sa aking accounting 101 lesson. <laughs> By the way, shout out nga pala sa nagbigay nito ng idea na si Budget at si Hingsil, my ever supportive and loyal friends mula pa nung nasa People's Bank of Caragaco until now. So thank you, thank you sa inyong dalawa. Before anything else guys, magbibigay muna ako ng konting kaalaman about myself. So I am an accountancy graduate but unfortunately hindi, hindi po ako nakapag-take ng exam for CPA but nakapagtrabaho po ako sa isang rural bank for 7 years at isang lending company uh, for how many months rin kaya medyo na refresh or doon ko nagamit ang aking kalaman about accountancy so this video is intended para sa mga sa mga aspiring accountancy student at sa mga gustong magkumuha ng NC3 bookkeeping certificate so this video is for you now for today at the end of the video you will know what is accounting and the financial the basic financial statement and the basic accounting equation so let's start so what is accounting? Why do we need to study accounting? And what is the basic financial statement na may encounter natin? And lastly, what is the basic accounting equation? So why do we need to study accounting? It's simply because we pay our taxes, our tuition fees, as our house rentals, our electric bills, transportation expenses, and many more and these things na ginagawa natin is involved accounting or that's what we call accounting so what is accounting accounting is an art of recording classifying summarizing in a significant manner and in terms of money transactions and events which are in part at least of a financial character and interpreting the result thereof so that is accounting so what are financial statements financial statements are the means by which the information accumulated and processed in financial accounting are periodically communicated to the users they are designed to serve the needs of variety of users particularly owner and creditor. The objective of financial statements is to provide information about the financial position, performance, and cash flows of an enterprise that is vital in making a sound economic decision. So which means financial statements are the end products of accounting. So as a beginner, we will I will be discussing to you the four basic financial statement. Unang una is the balance sheet. Pangalawa is income statement. Pangatlo is statement of owner's equity. Ang pangapat is statement of cash flows. So these financial statements I will be discuss one by one for my next vlog. Next is, what is the basic accounting equation? All times, the total assets must equal to the total liabilities plus owner's equity as expressed in the equations which is assets equals liabilities plus owner's equity. Assets are found at the left-hand side of the equation which we term as debit while liabilities and owner's equity are found at the right at the right hand side of the equation which we term as credit the final rule is that the total of the left 
will always to equal to the total of the right. This is the significance of the double entry system of bookkeeping. So example, uh, the table shows the, the basic accounting equation. That's it guys. At dito na muna magtatapos ang ating first accounting, first day of accounting 101 and hopefully may, na, na, may natutunan kayo sa ating uh, lesson for today. And watch out for my next vlog for more accounting 101 lesson. Bye-bye!